So let's talk about oversharing. So this is the age of vulnerability, right? We got social media, uh, I mean, proliferation of social media, all kinds of social media. And with social media, there's this, there's this clamor and this call to be authentic and to, and to share. But sharing leads to oversharing, right? Um, I don't want to know what every single meal you eat looks like. It's just not necessary. And it gets old after a while, right? But in the same way, um, you don't want this shock value sharing, right? So I actually have a Facebook friend who's constantly online threatening uh, suicide. And I want to be clear, suicide is not a game. I've, I've dealt with suicide personally on multiple levels, multiple occasions. And um, that's not something to play with, but that's, that's what we call abusing social media, right? That's not what the space is for. And in the same way, when you're sharing in a public space, when you're sharing as a public figure, whether a writer, speaker, or what have you, um, there is a certain kind of ethical code, right? There are certain things that you should not share, right? And um, Brene Brown talks about this, her book, Power of Vulnerability. She talks about the value of being vulnerable. And there are some things that you need to share in order to help your audience understand that you can relate to what it is that they're dealing with you can relate to the challenges that they're facing but in the same way you don't want to create a space that's toxic and overwhelming and um and and, and volatile and um uh, inappropriate right so there's certain things that you just shouldn't share and i remember i had a had a mentor who used to say that it's important to be careful to share, to, to, to be careful about sharing things that they will think about whenever they see you from this point forward, right? And so there's some times when it's, when it's absolutely necessary to share something that may be embarrassing, but there are more reasons not to than there are to, and it's just a matter of using, um, using, using tact, using, using wisdom, um, being being thoughtful and being careful about how you present yourself and how you come across. Um, I, I want to say that Brene Brown refers to it as dumping, right? That you you don't want to you don't want to dump on your audience because there is a level of 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 relationship that something that's very personal or very serious. Uh, demands, right? So it's kind of like when you meet somebody uh, for the first time, you don't tell them your deepest, darkest secrets. And in the same way, the, your audience um, doesn't have the level of trust that's necessary for you to reveal those things that are most, um, most delicate or embarrassing. And so it, it kind of like dumping would be Again, you walk into a crowded room of people you never met before and start talking about, you know, how you have cancer. You just got diagnosed with cancer. That is just a little bit too much for a group of people who you've never met before. You want to share that you were just diagnosed with cancer with your closest family members and people who love you and trust you and people who you trust and people who truly support you. So be careful. Think about it. You want to be authentic. You want to be vulnerable. But you don't want to be doing emotional dumping. You don't want to create a toxic or volatile uh, space by sharing too much information. Once again, uh, be feel free. Be careful to drop your comments in the uh, drop your questions in the comment section below, or hit me up on social media at CC Thinking Right, and I'll be sure to chop it up with you right here on the Thinking Chair chat as we work towards creating quality church content.